All right, so this is the situation. I felt that I wanted to document this because it's something that I've never done before. And maybe if I do post this, it might help some other people out or it's just kind of entertaining for people to see something like this. But I have this 2004 Porsche Cayenne Turbo. And like, basically I got locked out of the car because the battery died and it drained completely and it won't open. I even, ha you know, I have the key and I have the manual, you know, entry and that, that won't work. So I didn't know what to do. So I called a locksmith and then they, you know, they came over and then what they did, they tried to, to, to use this metal device to open the handle from the inside, but it wouldn't open. Um, from what I remember when I drive the car, if you, even if you, you know, try to open the door handle, if you don't press unlock, then it won't open. You have to press unlock and then it'll open. So the guy was saying that all cars have the safety mechanism where you should be able to open from the inside, but apparently this car doesn't. So he tried to open it and what happened was as he was trying to open it, he, um, it, the metal piece would slip off the handle and it smashed into the windshield and he basically ended up cracking the windshield and then now the windshield needs to be replaced. So if you look at the windshield, you know, like it's like completely destroyed, you know. Um, he cracked the windshield really badly. Now the whole windshield needs to be replaced. And then we, he didn't get into the car, so they're supposed to come and fix that. So now, I didn't know what to do, still couldn't get in. And then I called um, my mechanic. I said, is there anything he could do to help? And he said, no, there's nothing they could do. They don't do that. So my mechanic couldn't help. So then I ended up calling the Porsche um, dealership. And what they said was that there's no guarantee that they'll be able to get in there, but I'd have to tow the car to them to see them if they can if they could try. But in order to tow them there, this garage, you know, the ceiling is too low. There's no way a tow truck would be able to fit in here. So I can't tow it. And then he said the other option is to just break the window. He said you can't go through the the windshield because there's a, like a protective film that 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 um that won't allow you to climb through the windshield. So you said you got to break the side window in order to get through. Um, so that's where I'm at right now. I saw some videos on YouTube showing like, you know, putting some power through like some of the wires and the lights, but I just don't feel confident and comfortable in doing that. So right now I'm in a position where I'm gonna have to break this thing. Um, and I don't want to do it, but I, that's the only thing that I can think of. Um, I want to sell this car. I do want to sell this car as well. And it's just, you know, it's just a very unfortunate situation to be able to have to, to have to do this. So the objective right now is to break, break the glass, climb through the window, and then pop the pop the trunk, uh, the hood, in order to put, um, in order to get to the battery so I could jump the car. Um, so I wanted to just kind of document this, uh, just for my records and. Just to see what's going on with this. So this is the window that I plan to smash out. I really don't want to do this, but. I smashed this and it still didn't even crack. That's crazy.
don't even want people to hear me doing this, so I gotta wait until uh, this place is cleared out. So, this car, I haven't been driving it, um, and because I haven't been driving it, you know, when I park it for over a week, then all of a sudden, you know, the battery dies and then I have to jump it, you know, so I've done that like maybe three times already, and I thought that maybe it's because I left something on, um, maybe I, I have like the FM transmitter plugged in and maybe that was drawing energy from the battery and that's why it wasn't opening or starting so I thought that was the issue so then I jumped it and then I would drive it and then it seemed to be fine and I felt like you know what maybe if I drive it at least once a week it'll be okay um, but apparently once a week is not enough and it just wouldn't start and this is like the worst that's ever happened because um, like you just can't get in at all. You know, like at least before, there used to be enough energy to at least like open the door. But now there's not even enough energy, just not even just to open the door. And to have to like smash through a window just to get inside, it's just absolutely ridiculous. And for this key, you know, this, this manual key not to work is just this is bad you know I thought it's easier to break a win like a window than than it actually is if you think about people being trapped in a car and stuff like that you know I don't even want to hit it that hard. Wow. do I can't even break it with this thing This is ridiculous. I don't know, maybe I need like a, something pointed, but it's not breaking. So I'm thinking right now, I'm just gonna go get a, a screwdriver and then use that and use the hammer to, um, you know, with the hammer, with the screwdriver. I'll see if that works. Let me pause this video right now. All right, so now I have this, this little small knife with a pointy side in the end. I'm just gonna hit this a little bit with it, see if it'll break it.
That won't work either. I had to put the camera down, but I finally got to shatter um, by using the screwdriver, pointing it at this, this tip, and just keep hammering it in with the hammer. And then finally got it to shatter like that, and it took a lot of effort. So as you see, um, these windows are a lot stronger than I thought. Um, sometimes I wonder like how people are able to, um, you know, how they're able to basically, you know, get trapped in a car, you know, when it's burning and not get out. You know, these windows are not easy to break. You know, and I, I find through experience right now how hard it is to break them. And um, this is pretty dangerous, you know, getting trapped in a car and you can't get out because the battery doesn't work. I mean, this is like a severe uh, safety issue, you know, and this is the first time that I've ever done something like this. And as you can see, um, I don't feel comfortable doing this at all. You know, breaking glass, you know, it's not something that I want to do, you know, but this is the situation. I finally broke it and uh, now I can move forward and finally, um, See if I could get in here and jump this car. As you can see, there's a protective film and it doesn't just all shatter all at once. You gotta keep tearing away at it and then it keeps chipping out and um, all these glass particles start flying out. So I think um, it'd be good for me to get some goggles or something. I pulled the handle and now finally the door is open, but I got a lot of cleanup to do now. So I'm at least thankful that I got that I got in there.